friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Ooh. How you doing? Good. You didn't make them stick them up today? No, giving you a break. <laughs> Gotta keep them on their toes? Yeah. You never know what to expect from me. <laughs> <laughs> what pants are those? I've never seen you wear those. They're, I think they're Lulu's, like Lululemon's. Mm-hmm. Um, I've worn these once, I think early last year, and then they were folded in my closet and I did not find them until two days ago. Nice. So I've worn them once and I resurfaced them. No scrunchy socks today. No scrunchy socks, but cozy socks. And everyone's going to be like, the heel's not on your... I know, (laughs) because it's for a child. These are children's socks. Oh, look, there we go. No, they're not. Yeah, those ones are good. The other ones are for children. Exactly. My mom asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and I said fuzzy socks, and then she bought me a bunch, and they were all for children. She didn't know. She bought me a bunch because I was sick that one time. (laughs) Check it. I'm like... (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, what's been up with you? Um, I finished the show The Buccaneers on Apple oh, yeah, TV you told Plus, me about that. and I cried while I was telling Drew what happens in the finale. Oh yeah! And then I started, so everyone will get off my fucking back. I started Dickinson. Oh yeah! And so far, with, I do like it with Haley Steinfeld. I was gonna say with the girl from Bumblebee. I like completely <laughs> forgot her name for a second. I know who Haley Steinfeld is. That's honestly, have you seen Bumblebee? No. It was really good. I was actually pretty impressed. I thought it was going to be really dumb and it wasn't. Have you ever watched The Edge of 17? That's another really good movie that she's in. No. I thought she was going to win an award for that one. That one was good. No, I've never watched those. Have you seen um, Pitch Perfect 2? Yeah. <laughs> and she pissed me off in that. She did. Maybe not. She pissed me yeah. off. So she's like, well, I just like wrote my own song. So this was an original song time, girl. The way they just put the Packers in that movie. Yeah, the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> That's so random. I only recognize- And they were all Packers. Like, all of them were players. Yeah. I only recognize, obviously, Clay Matthews. I didn't know who yeah. any of the other ones were. But you see how they're all... First of all, if you guys watch... That's the best scene in that movie. But when they do the riff off again. But what I will say is... It'll never be like the first one, but yeah. That... Those... The Green Bay Packers being there was, like, a really great example of how fucking small everybody in hollywood is mm. because those are huge men don't get me wrong like they're really tall that's why when men called your alignment they're comparing her to that but like you wouldn't you like if i was a man i would want to look like that you would kill to look like me now <laughs> if i'm being honest and you would kill me you would even kill even more <laughs> to get if you to look did, like me what did caleb say he goes you would kill to have my life yeah you would kill to have my life <laughs> my life is so much better than yours you would kill you would literally kill to have it like mm. you would <laughs> uh anyways what were we talking about oh you started dickinson yeah uh oh guys Baldur's gate update so oh, okay the people they've been waiting yeah for real i and maybe this is a dig on me i didn't um, realize how many nerds follow this podcast. fucking nerd just kidding <laughs> um i maybe this is a dig on me but i have not gotten that many responses to something random Ever. in a long time <laughs> like i had hundreds of thousands of messages they were so funny someone just men- messaged me in all caps and said let's fucking go <laughs> <laughs> like, um and i had a lot of mutuals actually message me about it too so um i did buy it i bought the super deluxe extra version um because i wanted the full experience extra virgin <laughs> not here <laughs> <laughs> too cool for that shit not so. i sorry keep going. uh but uh i played it i created my character right i built her up i did choose elf in case anyone's curious uh, Billy thought I made the wrong choice, but fuck him. That's my character. What and she was pitch? the cutest. Um, there is a version. There's like blue people. Forgive me. I'm not well versed on the lore quite yet, but there's like blue people. You could literally be, there's like nine different species. So you could be like a human. You could be a half elf. You could be an elf. You could be, um, literally something called dragonborn where you have a human body that's covered in scales, but you have a big dragon head. Um, you could be do they, like a dwarf? on their peepees because they show their pubes on there. Oh yeah! First of that. all, first of all, 
none of you were going to tell me that they just like show puss on there. Like literally they're, they like literally you could just make your character naked and you could pick their genitalia. Like she literally FaceTimed me to show me and I couldn't stop laughing at that because she picked blue hair. She had blue pubes. <laughs> yeah. I don't have blue hair anymore. I actually made her like a coppery ginger, but I gave her like real coppery, like orangey kind of hair, but I made her dark like me and she has like an 80 inch fucking slicked up braid. I was like, yeah, that's my girl. You can also like make her like linebacker size. Like speaking of linebacker, like you could literally make her the size of a defensive Clean lineman. Matthews. Like literally <laughs> 6'5", 260. <laughs> like a fucking specimen. You can make her like ready for the combine. Um, and I picked Elf. But there was one that's, they're blue. Like their skin is blue and they have blue hair. I forget the name of the species, but like Billy said he thought their powers were cooler, but I thought the Elf powers were pretty cool cool personally so that's why i picked elf and then that process took me like two three hours to build my character because there's so many little things you can add to it and everything um i did start is it playing. tiffling let me see like they look like that yes i would have picked that i know that's what billy picked but i like the powers on the elf more is it tiffling or cleric yeah i don't remember Hmm. Well, I don't know. Here's what I will say, guys. Um, how do I play so that I can just do the story and not necessarily do the fighting? This is like, hold space for me. I'm new, okay? Hold space for me. I really don't like the fighting aspect. I love fighting in games, don't get me wrong. But I don't like that it like zooms out like a bird's eye view and then you there are like two rolls left. Like, I hate that. Like, let me fight. Like, I want to like, is there a way I can play the game where I can have either make that part shorter or cut it out entirely or make it so that I can fight normal. Please let me know. Don't be mean to me. I don't, I've never played this She doesn't want to play the Dungeons and Dragons version. She just wants to play the story. I want to play the storyline yeah. so fucking bad though. And I will say for some reason, the graphics are like, they are insane on the story parts. Like it literally looks like a movie. Like it's insane. And then when you play, they're not nearly as good. I just don't know like why. Mm -hmm one's higher than the other i don't know if that's part of the gameplay maybe i need to play a little bit longer i don't know y'all tell me y'all seem to be experts but i don't hate it i don't hate it it's just a learning curve she's okay as of right now i'm real neutral towards her but maybe that's because i haven't been sucking in fucking like i really want to so in the game all right i want to make everyone my girlfriend boyfriend partner in general I'm going to, I'm going to partner up with as many people as possible. That's my goal. <laughs> I just want to see where the wind takes me <laughs> in the game. <laughs> I just want to do the story. Let me do the story. Uh, people are like, Baldur's Gate is not like Sims. I know it was a joke. <laughs> I know. It's literally nothing like Sims. There is nothing in this world like Sims. Like literally. I mean, Dreamlight Valley is relatively comparable to it. I'll say that. To like, Sims? Yeah. Wrong. Just kidding. Oh. I don't know anything about Dreamlight Valley. No, so. you don't even know. I've seen it. I know what the gameplay looks like. No, no. But I'm telling you when you're playing, like, you run out of energy. You have to go home. You have to eat stuff. You have to cook and then give gifts to your friends and build relationships with their friends. Yeah. Well, this is how I play Sims. When I play Sims, I cheat and get all the money in the world. And then I evict the family from the biggest house. And then I... Um, oh, actually, if I move into the biggest house and there's a family in there and there's a man in there, if I don't create my own man, then I make those two divorce because I can control them now. I make them divorce and then I evict them and then I have my girl partner up with that guy and then I rearrange the entire house and decorate the entire thing. And then and then I start making her have kids. That's what I that's how I play Sims when it's the normal Sims. But if it has like objectives or something was the college one really fun the college one was super fun and i i know you're all gonna wonder <laughs> i know you're all wondering what goal did i pick like they all have life goals you can pick or whatever i picked it was like become like top of the class and then it was like be the most athletic person on campus it was like a uh, master seven instruments like shit like that and then the last one was have six boyfriends at the same time and that's the one i picked 
And then I was just like getting boyfriends. Like I was just constantly going to class to make new boyfriends. But like if they, if I didn't like what they looked like or how they were dressed, I was like, nah. <laughs> and I would like move on. And then I had, I had to go to class one day. Like literally I was skipping class all the time. And then they're like, if you don't go to this class, you're going to get kicked out. And then you get kicked out of school, which I couldn't do. So then I had to go to the class. And then three of my boyfriends were in there at the same time. And then they, all three of them broke up with me. And then my sim was too sad. I couldn't have her do anything. She didn't even want to go to class after that. She was so sad. <laughs> I got to four. I didn't get to six, unfortunately. So, but anyways, Baldur's Gate's good. I, I, it's good so far. I'm real neutral towards her. I'm trying to, I'm trying to warm up to it. Give me some time. I need some time. Okay. Let me warm up, but it's been pretty fun. And Billy has played Elden Ring for the first time. I know a lot of you suggested Elden Ring. That The graphics on that video game are absolutely crazy town. But um, that, I don't know how I feel towards Elden Ring, if I'm being honest. It scares me. There's too much going on. They literally don't tell you anything. They just, they well, you watch the story, but it doesn't make any sense because you don't know anything. <laughs> And then they drop you in the middle of nowhere. And then you have to, they're like, they don't give you any instruction. You know how they're kind of like, oh, I need to go here and meet and talk to this person. Mm -hmm. He was just running around. He goes, I have no idea where I'm supposed to That's be. That's how I felt when I played Elder Scrolls. Yeah. And it's kind of like, I yeah. was like, what am I supposed to be doing? So I'm just running around. And then Billy was like, I think I have to go to this castle. Cause like something's like pointing me here. I think this is where I have to go. And he was just running forever. <laughs> And then when he goes to the castle, you hear like douche, 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 like that. And then you look and there's like a fucking 2000 foot fucking troll, scary looking monster. And it has armor on. And then it has a big club and it starts going whoosh, whoosh. And then he was like, ah, like he was like literally running away from it. And he goes, I have to go in there. And like every time he went, he was like, whoosh and he would hit him and he would fucking knock him and he would fly 70 yards <laughs> and then he was like uh he found something and he was like oh thank god and i was like what he goes they're gonna give me a horse so well that's what you got from that because i'm i'm listening to the dialogue it doesn't make any sense none of it makes any sense to me and then he got a horse and he goes oh this is gonna make things way easier then he just run past the <laughs> Yeah. The horse. He just he literally just kept trying to run in. I'm like, you're not gonna get in there. And then he's like, whoosh again. <laughs> and he was like, I have to level up my guy, but I don't know how to do it without because you have to like beat people in order to level up, mm -hmm. but he has like he's on zero. So anyone hits him once and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, ah, oh. like every time he's this is gonna make things way easier. And it was just riding the horse. I love the explore part of games. Like I love running around. I love it. I saw someone comment on There's here. There's not enough running around in uh, BG3. So far, so far, so far. Someone had commented that Valhalla was the worst one. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> but what was the reasoning? Hold on, I'm finding it. Valhalla is literally the worst Assassin's Creed game. There's no assassinating. It's all fighting with an ax and your army. That's literally not true at all. <laughs> That is not true at all. You, you know what? First of all, the reason why that happens is because in order to level up your guy, you have to conquer other villages and they have that little fucking Viking ship. And I told you that's the worst part of Assassin's Creed. I think that's why it's supposed to take forever because you have to travel everywhere. So you'd be rowing that shit, right? Like all your men and you just stand there and tell them where to go. Mm -hmm. And you're like kind of directing it. And then when you drive past their like pillage with a question mark, and then you like you you say yes or no depending on your level but when you conquer the town you level up your guy but that's not the main storyline that's just to like level him up so he can fight bigger enemies and then when you do the main missions that's the assassinating you're wrong you're wrong uh valhalla was the best one because there was so much to do like you could do that in the other ones too but like it's just the fact that you could uh, do a bunch of side missions. There was relationships, which there have never been, to my knowledge, in the other Assassin's Creeds. You couldn't do them. In that all one the you ones could be I a girl heard. too, right? Yeah, you could be a girl. The first time I think you could be a girl was in the twins one. 
All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little break. And this is with our friends at Rocket Money. So have you ever, I do this all the time where I'll forget, I sign up for subscriptions and then they'll charge me and I'll be like, dang it, I'll have to cancel that. And then it charges me again the next month. I'm like, dang it, I have to cancel that. And I literally never remember. I know that for me, I literally do that all the time. And I'm so excited that we're partnering with Rocket Money because they help alleviate that stressor. So do you ever feel like money is just flying out of your account and you have no idea where it's going? Well, I do. It's all those subscriptions. Think about it. Between streaming services, fitness apps, delivery service, parenting apps, it's endless. And I'm guilty of this. So I've used Rocket Money to help me find out what subscriptions I'm actually spending money on. It was eye opening and I had them cancel the ones that I didn't want anymore. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending and helps lower your bills. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, I can cancel it with a tap. I never even have to get on the phone with customer service, period. So stop wasting money on the things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash two idiot girls. That's rocketmoney.com slash two idiot girls, rocketmoney.com slash two idiot girls. Now back to the episode. Like the, the, British, the British one. one. And also, um, the Spartan Warriors one, but I didn't play that one. I didn't, I didn't, wasn't really having fun playing that one, but yeah, you're so wrong. Uh, and also I like that he can just run up and fucking fight a bitch. Like that shit is so fun. If you want to play a game where you assassinate, assassinate almost the entire time, you should play Ghost of Tsushima. That one is fucking incredible. That game is 1000 out of 10. I love that game so much. I want to replay it. I started replaying, um, Red Dead because I wanted a game so bad. And then I got bummed because I was like, I know what happens. And like, oh, yeah. And then I remembered the missions as I'm doing them. And I'm like, this isn't as fun because I'm like, but Ghost of Tsushima, play that one. If you really want to learn, like, do where you're completely under the under the darkness, killing people the entire time. My dad never plays Assassin's Creed like that. He runs in the front door every time. <laughs> he, every single time even with Ghost of Tsushima like I watched him play he was just running right in the front gate like he doesn't give a fuck like he was riding the horse in there and just like he doesn't care and I've told him I was like you're supposed to be stealth so that's what I was telling him and he was like that takes too long like, he doesn't want to do it he wants to fight like he just wants to jump right in there when we were little guys I think we've told this story before we used to love watching our dad play video games because we would get scared yeah, like we, I would play and Jason would watch me. And then when I got scared, yeah. then I, we would make him play. But then I wanted to explore, then Drew would fight. But if it got too scary, then we'd make my dad do it. Yeah. But we used to love watching him play the Atlantis video game. Oh, and um, that game was so fun. One of my favorite ones to watch him play, fuck JK Rowling, but yeah. was the Chamber of Secrets. We had that video game. Oh, yeah. The Harry Potter one on PS2. PS2, yeah. And I remember my dad would be like being stupid. Like, we're like, hurry, you have to sneak back to your room. Like, we'd be like, just the kill- fact is gonna find you it would be like just kill it and give it back to me yeah. <laughs> like the enemy i'm like just kill it and then give it back to me would be he'd be like you know you like sneak around in the invisibility cloak yeah. to like go get something and he'd come back and then he'd get to the door of his dorm and then he'd run in circles and be like hurry the prefect's gonna find you this hold on i have to do my circles first <laughs> so stupid <laughs> but i don't even remember if we got to watch him like actually kill the basilisk like do you remember getting that far yeah. Oh, we did. Yeah, I still remember because. It was, but we didn't. We, you. We didn't want to watch because it was too scary. It was really scary. So we would go wait in the next room and be like, "Did you get him?" Yeah. <laughs> We'd watch TV and be like, "Daddy, is it done?" And then we come on. He's playing Madden. And we're like, "No." <laughs> I know that's how. Dude, we and play- remember, you used to have to save your game on those little memory cards, and you'd be like, "Don't overwrite my file." Yeah, for real. Like those standard memory cards, and they only had four slots. Yeah. For four separate games or of the same game. I will tell you another game I bought. I did buy WWE 2K23. I bought it. Um, I heard it was multiplayer. We all wanted to play. Like we said, we're someone. So naturally, we love the WWE. Um, and then we all played the other night, and it was really fun. It was really fun. But when we started... That game is fucking hard, first of all. When we started, I said, hold on. I want to practice my moves. Then we can fight. And <laughs> Billy didn't wait. Neither did Donovan. We were the four of us were playing against each other, and it was honestly really fun. Like it was a blast. We had a, we had so much fun playing. And then we played Overcooked, and then um, it got too serious, and then we had to stop. Yeah, Billy was like, "You're mean when we play this game." I'm all, "You are intentionally stupid when we play this game, like, and it drives me nuts." He kept picking up the fire extinguisher and, and he was, spinning in a circle. Yeah, he he would pick it up and then he would spray it and then he would just spin in a circle, and I would be like, 
log off the game. Like we don't. Or need like you. we'd start it because for some reason me and his character were always next to each other. Yeah. And we'd be like, okay, I'm gonna pick up ingredients and throw it over there. He would throw five thousand <laughs> cucumbers on the other side. Or he would pick them up and put them on top of other ingredients, <laughs> and then you don't know. You're like, where you the fuck's see. the rice? And yeah. there's a cucumber on top of it. That's why you can't see it. He's infuriating. And then he was like, you guys are being so mean to me. I'm like, you're fucking around and we have a kitchen to run. So I know. any chance I got, I would push him off a ledge in that game. <laughs> I was going to kill him and he would dash into me and knock me off. He did it so many <laughs> times. It's because I did it to him to see if it worked and I laughed. And then that's why he started doing it. So oh. and then Donnie, his number one goal every game is to it's deliver to the food, deliver the food, even if it means ripping it out of my hands. And I was like, you do not have to serve every single meal. Like that is the opposite point of the game. The point of the game is to get as many orders done as possible. And you are slowing us down by doing that. That's why I was like, me and Jason are our well-oiled machine. Yeah. So whoever comes in after us has to fucking keep it tight. All right. And he was, Donovan literally ran like three counters down and, and took the plate from me. Like I was like about to pick it up and he took it and he's like, I got it. I'll deliver it <laughs> while he was in the middle of cooking something. I'm like, get back to your fucking station. <laughs> Give me some noodles while you're and Hold on. Get some fucking noodles while you're over there. <laughs> Throw them over here. <laughs> <laughs> that game is so fun. <laughs> that game is so silly and so fun. Mm. Like unbelievable. That's why I mean. Thanks for like, I'm on rice. I'm on rice. <laughs> Once I was laughing watching Erica and Scott play, she's all behind, behind. Yeah. Hot plate, hot plate, hot plate. <laughs> corner, corner. Yeah. Door, door. That's the worst part of being a server. Uh, so I never did that shit. And then I would get in trouble for not saying something because it is a helpful, but I just like, I couldn't wrap my head around saying it that many times. I'll say it once or twice. That's where, it, where that's where I stop. Do they do family meals or no? Family meals? What do you mean? Oh, you haven't watched the bear. You have to watch the bear. Oh, yeah. Well, well, but if you guys do want to watch the Buccaneers, um, you should. I don't know why every gay show that people recommend to me is during that time period, but um, yeah, I'll finish Dickinson. I'll let you know my thoughts. Nice. Um, have I watched anything new? No. No. You know what I did watch the other day? Stick it. When's the last time you watched that movie? Oh yeah, I told you it's been a while, but I watched it on TikTok not too long ago. <laughs> Yeah, that movie's terrible. It's not good, you guys. Yeah, it's really bad. And, and she like is when you watch her, like she has gay face, like a really good gay face, and like presents herself gay, but the way she acts is so straight. She is truly such a pick me in that movie. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Like, like the craziest pick me. The worst parts of the, that movie is anytime she's trying to be silly. Yeah, and she's also like yeah she's real unlikable like and then i hated how they made all the other girls like so fucking dumb well yeah because <laughs> girls are stupid i hated that girls who are feminine are stupid that you guys are dumb but tomboys <laughs> they're they the like, smartness i love the boobs butts protect, balls and boys protect and protect this one fellas this is a good one <laughs> this i need more girls like you around shut the fuck hey, up how many times did you get tagged in that that couple that was getting married and he said that i hope i get to smack that ass all day long that was the only vow he wrote which one <laughs> <laughs> because you know how many of those there's a couple of them there's a couple of them but the there one is so i get tagged in vows all the fucking <laughs> time like all literally <laughs> there was one that went so viral last year that i was getting tagged on every single platform i have like including youtube Someone literally tagged me in a YouTube short. <laughs> and I'm not even on there. Like, girl. No, it's the one where. Um, I think it's the most recent. I think I know the, the most one you're recent one. Yeah. yeah. I think I know. I, I didn't watch it, but that was the only vow he had. Yeah. They go, that's all you got? And he goes, yep. And was everyone like. <laughs> in the, in no, the, the wife was kind of like, oh, okay. And then she read hers. Can I tell y'all something? Like that I, reminds, I that this remind this reminded me of something. I thought that one was really bad, but the other one we're talking about with the girl with the purple hair. Yeah, that's the one. That one was disgusting. That's the one where I was I was literally on YouTube yeah. Shorts. Someone tagged me on YouTube Shorts, and that because that video made it there. That's how fucking we were crazy. Talking about her doing the bathwater scene and. <laughs> <laughs> 
dude, when he's talking about her sucking his dick at the altar in front of both of their parents and, and their children. And God. Unbelievable. God said he was that picture, that stock photo of that white guy. <laughs> No. I actually that one I was so sick of being tagged in it. I did a a thread on it on on Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, but I I said the standard shit like y'all already know how I feel. But like it, this is disgusting for obvious reasons. But I just I don't. What I genuinely do not understand is is picking that moment to do that. Like like I people were like oh that's just their sense of humor and I literally was like I don't give a fuck if you're the headmaster at Chuckles University what the fuck are you doing workshopping a type 5 yeah. at our fucking wedding like you think <laughs> vows is the time to workshop some new jokes yeah. are you out of your fucking mind and also to make them so sexually explicit when your children are sitting in the front row makes no fucking sense like it's just it's gross and it's inappropriate and it's extremely just disrespectful her laughing that's why i've said before it sometimes women are just conditioned to laugh like they've just they're just used to shit like yeah, that so that one that doesn't make it okay it disgusting. and then he's like, i'm just glad i get to smack that ass all day long <laughs> i'd be like thank god you went first because i want i don't want to get married <laughs> thank god you went first otherwise <laughs> if i went and then you went I would have been even more mad. I'm glad I heard yours first. <laughs> but I wanted to know how many times you had tagged on that. That was like a couple a months million, ago. A million. A fucking million. And I ignore them because I don't care in the sense that I don't care about men who try to be funny at their fucking weddings. Like, and then to platform it, like post it, like, look how fucking silly my husband I is. I don't know why. I, I thought that too. You filmed the whole wedding. You're going to post that clip. Of course they are because they think it's relatable. And then when you, when the internet's like, nothing about this is relatable, it's actually kind of sad. They're like, fuck you guys. Like they're fucking mad. Yeah. And it's like, you chose to post this. Like, yeah. And it's oh, always like the girl. ugliest men. Too. I have to tell y'all a story that one of our friends told us. <laughs> so she told us that she went to go see that Cindy Sweeney movie. <laughs> I, I haven't seen it. Probably won't if I'm being completely honest. M. Grace Dog um, made a really funny video about yeah. that movie. So that's all I will say about that. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know? You um, know what I've seen? Do you know Andrew Scott, the actor? I don't know. He's in Fleabag. Anyways, he's in a... Oh, yeah. He's in a movie right he, now. Does he play the priest? Yeah. Yeah. The hot priest. He's in a movie right now with Paul Mescal where they're like gay lovers. Yes. Right? So they're doing press for it. Yes. And so I saw someone saying... Whoever did the marketing for anyone but you, whatever the fuck the Sydney Sweeney movie is called, yeah, they're yeah. like how they're really trying to make you believe that like they have such good chemistry. They should have hired whoever the fuck did this one for all of us strangers with yeah. Paul Mescal. Well, of course they wouldn't because Hollywood's homophobic. So of course. But they he's just saying like like every even Barry Kilgan and and fucking uh, Jacob Elordi. But every interview I've watched with Paul Mescal and uh, Andrew Scott, yeah, they just have such great chemistry, and yeah. not even sexual. Like they just have a great like banter. And you just I, can tell they get along. Yeah, like which is chemistry. Which like, you like whether, watch it and you're like, God, I wish they would be in love. Like that would be so amazing. But then when yeah. you watch the Sydney Sweeney ones, like you know, she's like, Yeah, like he got like bullied and like people made fun of him and blah blah blah. And I'm like, and I just felt really bad, but like I love him so much. I'm like, what is this? Wait, that was like her in real life or her yeah. in the movie? No, she said that in an interview. <laughs> anyway so the, the thing story. i remember the most about her like not in something like not in a in a show or a movie is when uh her her like mom's birthday party where they had like the maga hats on or whatever and you know rightfully so everyone's like hey what the fuck is this like the internet and then she's like guys it's my mom's birthday <laughs> That's all she said. <laughs> That's so funny. You got me there. You know what? You, I guess you're right. Um, not, not really too sure what that has to do with my question, but she okay. Goes, okay, bye. She's like, Guys, it's my mom's birthday. Yeah. 
Okay, friends, we're going to take another quick little break. And this is with our friends at NYX Cosmetics. So if you know anything about me, you know that I love makeup, even though I don't have on any right now. But if I were to pick a makeup brand that I do really enjoy using, it's NYX. It's available at a bunch of different places. It's super affordable. And they have like the same types of products like that are so similar to high end products, but for half the price. And they're just as good. Honestly, most of them are better. So I'm so excited that we're partnering with them because today we're going to talk about their NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealer which are super pretty and creamy and I'm obsessed with them. They're super affordable. They're only nine bucks. You can get three shades for less than the price of a more expensive one. And it's the best bang for your buck. It contains hyaluronic acid, which is super moisturizing and really great for your skin. Uh, and it works for all skin types, especially if you prep with a really nice hydrating primer first. When it's on, it's on for 12 hours, 12 did you hear that? 12 hours. A quick fix and a solid stick for anything you're trying to fix up really quick. No mess, no fuss, just results super fast. I'm absolutely obsessed. You just twist it up, pop it on, blend it with a brush or your finger like models do. You know that, oh, I just use my fingers. I don't use brushes. And then it's done. It's like waving a magic wand and having your skin perfected. What the heck? So all of you can get your NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Sticks Concealers at your favorite makeup retailer and at NYXCosmetics.com. Now back to the episode. So about the movie. So our, uh, I've heard it's objectively not good. I've also heard that people really liked it. I've heard very polarizing. Yeah. Nothing in the middle. It's either they loved it or they hated it. Um, I have no intention of finding out. So our friend went to go see the movie and then she said there was a lot of couples in there. Like, you know, um, just like kind of like rom-com, whatever. And then she said the first scene where they're like, about to have sex, right? Um, and they're like lots of foreplay, right? Lots of lots of tits, right? Lots of boobies. Um, <laughs> she said when they're like getting like into it, there was a couple right behind her, and she said that the guy said out loud, and mind you, like the person who told us this, she is so like literal, literal, and she's so innocent. Like she's very like she doesn't have the capacity to lie yeah. about something or like embellish, that. Or embellish, yeah, or embellish. No, like she's she, not. She tells a, the story. Exactly she is how very happened. literal. Yeah. yeah. So she goes, and then the guy behind me goes right when they start like really getting into it. He goes, "Oh, we're gonna see her tits. We're gonna see tits <laughs> out loud, out loud, bitch." And she said she was so shocked. She like didn't know what's it like she wasn't even watching the movie. Like she was only listening. And then she said that they're they keep going and he was right. Uh her boobs come out, right? And then she said once they're like revealed, uh the guy goes, What does he say? Score. Oh yeah, he goes, score. He says, sublime. Sublime. <laughs> Would you excuse me for one second? At least he excused himself. The way that he goes, score. <laughs> out loud. And then I said, I have never, I was in shock. And then I tell her, I go, what did the girl say? Because he's with a woman. Like, they are together. And she's like, and they were not related. Right? And so she goes, I said, what did the girl say? She said, nothing. Like, the girl didn't say anything. And I go, the way that as soon as he goes, oh, we're going to see some tits, I would have stood up and I would have left. And you know what? Get home safe. And I would have gotten up and I would have walked home. Like, that's why you drive yourself. Everywhere. If they take you on a date, I'll, I'll meet, meet you, you there. there. I'll meet you there. First date, I'll meet you there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what? I would have walked home in the fucking cold. I wouldn't be surprised if it was his idea to go see that movie. because For that reason. Yeah. And then I was like, I hope it was a first date. Like, I hope, I hope they're not in a relationship. I hope it was a first date. Um, cause that's, that's just a funny story. You can tell your friends when you go home. As I was, as I'm walking up the theater, I'd be calling my sister to tell her what happened. <laughs> Dude, you'll never. Oh, we're going to see some tits. Score. I'm going to start saying that from now on for no reason. Oh, it's, I'm no, I'm going to say, oh, I'm here to see some tits. I'm going to say, oh, we're going to see some tits. <laughs> like when I go watch Caleb's next, next stand up show. Oh, we're going to see some tits. Where there's no tits present. Like, that's what I'm just going to start saying it. That's my new bit. And I was in disbelief. Like, I was like, the On fact, set of your show. I said the way. <laughs> yeah. The way that men don't deserve anything is crazy. Yeah. Like, they deserve literally nothing at all. That, the, <laughs> saying that out, lo out loud. It's crazy. To your date. I'm a, why are you commentating a sex scene in a Sydney Sweeney film? 
He's like, let's cut back to the field here. Looks like, oh, we're going to see some we're tits. Gonna, oh, we're going to see some tits. All right. Tits. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and the tits are out and they're out. Oh, there they are. We're going to see some and tits. And they look beautiful. <laughs> they look great. Dude. That's like actually insane. I'd freak the fuck out if that was me on the date. I'm like, have you ever, like, let's bring back internal thoughts. I don't even know. Like, I probably would be, like, in such shock that I, like. <laughs> I, like you know what Daisy would have done? She would have sat there the rest of the movie. Yeah. You used to. <laughs> but I like to go on dates with people and be berated. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a, a bullied on a date. Yeah. It's <laughs> my favorite thing. <laughs> I told Dason if that if I was my friend like if if I was her sitting in the theater and I heard that shit uh, the tits part specifically because that was the first thing she heard I literally would have turned around and looked I would have had to look but I would have done it like kids in a booth in a restaurant like I literally would have been like this <laughs> I told her with the seat covering her nose just yeah. her eyes like just I I had like hold on <laughs> I'll I'll pretend you guys are are the tits guy. You have to cover your face like the chair. No, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it first with no with no eyes. Like, okay. This is how I would have done it. Wait, I'll say it. So the first thing, what he said? Oh, we're gonna see some tits. <laughs> That's what I would have done. You silent reviewing. Yeah. Oh, I, we're I gonna see some tits. All right. And you know he was like breathing heavy. You know, like men breathe heavy and it's gross. Yeah. And he was probably <laughs> and he was probably and with their mouth open. Yeah. And oh, they oh, we're gonna see some tits. I'd like to think that he was watching like this, and then as soon as tits were on the menu, he literally was like, Oh, we're gonna see some tits, girl. <laughs> men don't deserve rights, let alone <laughs> things. You know what I'm saying? The <laughs> fact that like <laughs> there was a poor girl on a date with that person. Jesus fucking Christ. That is so terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's like, oh, we're going to see some tits. Oh, we're going to see some tits. All oh, right. tits are on the menu for sure. <laughs> oh, we're going to eat good today. <laughs> like, dude. Dude, so funny. The way I would have had, I would have, I would have had to look. And I would have needed him and her to both see me look. Because I want him to know I heard it. That's what I was. Especially because men are not good at whispering. So, like, I guarantee he didn't want everyone to hear that. But I don't think he gave a fuck, to be honest. <laughs> I think he he heard Ariola Like, he was, like, perking up at the thought of seeing nipples. And he was like, yeah. Like, it's literally, like, tits. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's just like a, a reaction. It's like a, <gasps> you know what I mean? And if you get that titillated at seeing boobs on the screen, like, you should not be going on dates <laughs> you should be in prison <laughs> you need to be sent away <laughs> somewhere far locked away you need to be you need to go to guantanamo bay <laughs> immediately <laughs> like you should not be out in public with other people because you'll do things like that. They need to put you in that fucking Russian prison that the Red Guardian <laughs> broke out of. Like, something like that. <laughs> Covered the in snow. The toughest max security. <laughs> yes, I said. Like in Stranger Things, the Russian prison, you need to be put in one of those. Go, fuck it. Go in the upside down, bitch. <laughs> fucking rip it open and throw him in throw there. Throw him in there. Every time I'm into something weird, I get to smack your ass all night long. Put him away. Put him <laughs> Guards, <laughs> fucking! I want someone's job to be a literal paddy wagon, just going and collecting those <laughs> fucking up creepies, those fucking men. Like throw them, uh, throw them away, and lock the key. They need to put them. <laughs> Trying to imagine me on a first date, and someone says that when we're watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot more self respect now, so I feel like I would get a. <laughs> you're like uh, five years ago though? no um, no me in 2022 i would have i would have sat there which is what i've done <laughs> but me now i'd be like are you fucking joking and then i, I would have started to fight i wouldn't even have i'd have been like all right i'm gonna head home get home safe dude or oh. don't i really don't give a fuck <laughs> i would have left but also like don't ever talk to me ever again i literally would have left and you know what's funny is even if that happened he wouldn't have because he would have had to watch the rest of the scene 
And now I can go. Okay. Wait, what do you mean you're leaving? Why'd you leave? Why'd you leave? Well, did we or did we not see tits? <laughs> I was just talking about the movie. I don't care that we saw them. I'm literally like, I, I was just guessing the ending. It's not even the ending. It's fucking 20 minutes so into the, the movie. movie. just started. Their characters just met. <laughs> he sees her in a bikini top and he goes, oh, we're going to see tits. Like, <laughs> so even he just says it every single time she's on screen. It's not even like. <laughs> he just sees her name in the fucking credits and he's like, oh, we're going to see some. That's fucking. They crazy. don't deserve anything, dude. Like they're like I can't be- I can't believe women just like they say they hate all men and that's the shit you be fucking doing in public yeah in fucking public and it's just a normal fucking guy I was literally telling Billy that guy's just walking around <laughs> terrorizing everyone he comes across <laughs> including my friend who had to listen to that um, <laughs> that's why I said put him in the Red Guardian prison <laughs> where they didn't break out Black Widow's dad put him there. <laughs> Where was that? Send them there. <laughs> no, fucking seriously, dude. For real. Lock them up. <laughs> it's going to be all men because women just don't do that. <laughs> so I was like, what were we talking about when I was like, like, I was like, when I say it, I'm kidding. Oh, it's like objectifying men. Like, it's like when I say, like, we were talking about Saltburn. Yeah. I'm like, I'm kidding. Like, anytime Barry Keoghan comes up stage, comes on now, I'm going to say, oh, we're going to see some people. Oh, we're going to see some tits. No, that's what I'm going to say that. I'm going to stick to the same bit. Oh, we're going to see some tits. See, our old bit was show us your boobs. Yeah. Right. But only to men. Mm -hmm. I only say that to men. Um, But now it's going to be, oh, oh, we're going to see some tits. It's a good one. It's yeah. funny. See, like when I when point. I'm doing it, I'm literally I'm fucking kidding. First of all, and I never objectify men in that sense. I was like genuinely asking. When men do it, it's violent. Like it's it's violent. It's an it's a threat. It's creepy. It's it's weird. It's inappropriate. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck what the context <laughs> is. Like it, you're a fucking weirdo. Like <laughs> you're a weirdo. Mm-hmm. Not a freak because those are in. You're. A fucking sicko. A sicko for real. In, sicko mode. In, <laughs> stupid. He went sicko mode in that fucking movie. No shit. Shit, dude. Okay, guys. So speaking of sicko mode, we're going to go through your guys' ins and outs for 2024. Yes. yes. Here's a new one I've thought of. In, okay. being gay, out, being straight. That's for me. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> what the hell's going on over there? What about you? Did you think of any? Uh, In being a sick freak, out being a sicko. Sick little freak, specifically. Mm-hmm. Sick little freak, little freak, freak. Those are all in. in. Sicko, sicko mode, out. out. I'm like, show us your boobs, out. Uh, we're going to see some tits. In. in. Okay. Yeah. What, what else do you think is out? Is that all you got? Yeah. Okay. As of right now. Okay. This first one is from Augie. They sent like a billion. Okay. So for their ends, they put extension cords. That's so real. That is so real. I'm not kidding. I bought so <laughs> many this year. I I bought so many fucking extensions cor- extension cords the last like two months. I don't know why. You just like always need those. That's real extension cords and surge protectors i think you're gonna like the next two as well okay also in drinking apple juice when you're high period bitch (laughs) have you tried fruit punch ices try it okay when you're high when you're high that feels like i'm drinking pop rocks like it literally feels like i'm drinking like in a good way or a bad way in a good way in a euphoric way okay in a way where you're like I feel like that, uh, you know that, remember that commercial of Drake when he <laughs> first blew up his sprite <laughs> and his head like unlocks and there's like, <laughs> that's how it feels. Le- first name, greatest, last name, name ever. ever. Yeah. yeah. That exact commercial, that's how I feel when I'm high and I drink uh, ices. That's one of Specifically the, fruit punch. That's one of the dumbest things you've ever said. <laughs> Where it's like, tzz, tzz, that's how I feel. 
<laughs> Unstoppable. That's how I feel. <laughs> Next one uh, in is hour long skincare routine. Okay, period. Next one is falling asleep in the shower. Never done that. Never done that. Um, Sitting in the shower. Now that's in. I've never sat in the shower. There's something so feral about sitting in the shower because you're completely naked and wet. And you're bare ass. And you're and you're just sitting and you're just like, okay, Ryan, we're going to take one more quick little break. And this was with our friends at Earth Breeze. I'm super excited to be partnering with them. I don't know about you, but when I wash clothes and I have to carry or move that big plastic jug to get the little squirt out and put the cup and then put the cup in the thing. And then the cup gets messy because there's glob stuck in it with like laundry detergent. Do you know what I mean? Um, they're super heavy. They're messy. They're hard to store. And worst of all, 91% of plastic doesn't get recycled, leaving laundry jugs to just sit in landfills for centuries to come. And I wanted to ditch the jug. And fortunately I found a solution and that's earth breeze. So imagine for a moment, something that looks like a dryer sheet, but it actually replaces that cup of goo, a pre-measured liquidless laundry detergent sheet that dissolves in all wash cycles, hot or cold, no measuring, no mess and no heavy lifting. That's right. No plastic jug. What really convinced me with every purchase, Earth Breeze donates 10 loads of detergent to a charitable cause of your choice. Over 100 million loads have been donated. And now every time I do laundry, I get this really excited feeling that I'm helping a charitable cause. And I love that. I also will say they smell really good. I know that I'm guilty of adding like too much detergent because sometimes I think I'm using enough, but then I'm like, I should put way more in there. And then, you know, all the little additives and things you could put in there. You don't even need to do that. You just put two to three of those little sheets in there, they dissolve and they make your clothes smell so good. And I'm obsessed with them. So you can join over 2 million Americans making a difference with Earth Breeze. Trust me, there's no reason not to switch. Right now, my listeners can subscribe to Earth Breeze and save 40%. Go to earthbreeze.com slash two idiot girls to get started. That's earthbreeze.com slash two idiot girls for 40% off. earthbreeze.com slash two idiot girls. Now back to the episode. You know what I mean? Like you never sit cute in the shower. No, like yeah. when you sit in the shower, it's like you look like that fox. meme of that fox. The fox, yeah. yeah, like at the edge of the sea. Yeah, literally, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's how I feel. Yeah, sitting in the shower in. Next one, they put Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Is in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mismatch pajamas and socks. Don't agree with that one. A huge in for me this year is matching pajama sets. My socks are always and mix match matching. Oh, they. Oh, okay. They're always mix matching if they're like ankle socks for some reason. Yeah, but the longer ones are easier to keep track of. I yeah. don't know why. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, next one is screaming at the top of your lungs in your car. Have I you do that. I'd be doing that anyway. I do that all the time. That's how I built my career, for being honest. This next one is hoping Jake Weber and Tara Yummy will get back together. Oh, who the hell are those people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping the best for you, Augie. Those names uh, made me feel old, so don't tell me. I think like, I know who they are. I didn't realize they broke up. Okay. Next one is in Rose Toy. Good for you. I feel like she's been in. And then the next one is Chamoy Pickle Kit. Well, they didn't put kit. I added that because it made me laugh. Because Chamoy Pickle? Yeah. It has to be the pickle kit. Yeah. How else would I know how to put the pickle together? <laughs> uh, out is Yubo Hookups. I don't know what Yubo is. Me either. TJ Maxx Skincare. Huh? That's out. Huh? What if that's all you can get? Go to go to a drugstore instead. Yeah. Don't buy it from TJ Maxx. They might be used. And I expired. Yeah. Uh, shitting in public places. That's been out for a minute. I don't know that it's... That is a last resort for me. Yeah. Like, it, it, if I'm shitting in public, believe that it was an emergency. Out shitting in public, in shitting on the plane. No, no. Oh, I'm just going to poop on the I'll plane. I'll just poop. Well, I'll just poop on the plane. I mean, I do have to poop, but I'll just do it on the plane. <laughs> That's the best place to do it. <laughs> Another out is not washing your ass and balls. Period. Having to reverse out of a U-turn. Is there anything more embarrassing? Oh, when you don't clear it? Yeah. Nope. Next one. Um, at that point, I'd rather just run onto the curb and then drive off. Yeah. Lose I'd a rather, tire, yeah. drive with only three. Yeah. Lose all my rims on the right side of my car. I'd rather do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, country music out. I agree. Uh, depends on what kind. Casey Musgraves never counts when I'm talking about country music. The song Tennessee Whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> I might have to fight you on it. Just saying. Uh, petty bitches is out. I agree. Okay. And then roundabouts. I think those are ridiculous. Grow up. That's why I feel when I see them. Roundabouts. Oh, like, <laughs> oh, I thought I was thinking like a roundhouse kick. I'm like, what are you doing those a lot? Or <laughs> I feel like what you're driving. You frequently roundhouse I think kick? Of the word roundabout. I think of uh, <laughs> school of rock. 
And he goes, check out track number three, roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a pretty good list, Augie. You killed that one. Not too bad, Augie. Okay, this next one's from Brianna. She said, it, here are her ins. Okay. Watching TV shows after they air. Period. That's my whole life. I started doing that. Um, and years later, if need be, that's me. Ooh, a show I do want to watch is Echo. I'm going to watch that one. I just haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Mm -hmm. um, another in is Loving My Body As Is, period. Period. And More Sleep. Yeah, amen. I went to bed at 9.30 the other day, and I woke up. I was like, oh. <laughs> like fucking Snow White. And then here are her outs. Uh, like shoulds in, qu in quotation marks. I don't know what that means. Me either. Going to social events I actually don't want to go to. Yes. I'm going to be That's really good her. about that this year. I don't do anything I don't want to do, so. I do a lot of things I don't want to do all the yeah, time. Yeah, that's then, a her thing. Last one is overextending myself. And that's for me, period. That was period. a good list. I like that one. I love that. Okay, this next one's from Sora. She said, here are her ins. Pilates. All the girlies have been going to Pilates. The girls have been going to Pilates. I, I do want to try it. I'm not flexible for shit. I mean, I, mean, I am too. You don't have to be very flexible. Extent. It just builds up muscles in your body that you don't normally use. But so. it, it helps with flexibility sure, too. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, and being limber. Um, I would love to try it. I Me never too. have. But every time I see people go, I don't see anybody sweating. And I'm a sweater bitch. I don't so, want to be embarrassed. I know. I used to date someone that did Pilates. And she said, you had to wear those funny socks. And I was Yeah, like, you have to wear the little grippies. Otherwise, you slip. Uh, next in is safe driving. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Self-compassion and forgiveness. Period. Being yourself. Period. And therapy. Amen. Out being addicted to my phone. Can't help you there. <laughs> Not being embarrassed or ashamed. That's a great one. I'm never embarrassed no, or ashamed. We know. No one is talking. I to know. It. I'm saying like maybe I should be, is my point. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should have a little bit of that, is my point. Rotting in my bed. That's good. I know. I need to be better at that. And then being mean because I'm tired or overwhelmed. What are you watching me when I'm at home? <laughs> <laughs> what is what is that a fucking attack? Oh, she's a triple cancer. Period, bitch. Um, I think that's a great list too. Okay, this next one's from Shelly. They said out male rappers. Depends on who. It depends on who. Yeah. Yeah. A thousand dollar vet bills because you have a French bulldog, girl. <laughs> yeah let's leave her in 2023 <laughs> holy fucking shit and then they also said white professors that teach ethnic studies you know what's so funny is we were me dason and billy were just talking like literally days ago we're just talking about um one of our spanish teachers when we were in high school was a, <laughs> was a white man from, from michigan. michigan like white as fuck bitch like white 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 the whitest bitch you've ever seen and he acted white and he looked white and he did like study abroad in like a mm. Latin country. Yeah, I can't remember where. Um, and then met a girl and then married her and then stayed there for like six months and then moved back to the States and then became a Spanish teacher mm. and then taught us Spanish. Mm -hmm. And he was an asshole. He was an asshole. But I told you. Any Spanish that I currently remember for my Duolingo app every day is literally from him. Yeah. He, he was, was like a, the best Spanish teacher I ever had, but he was so mean. He was a good teacher in the sense of like, um, I don't know, just like curriculum. Like he was a very tough teacher. And I think that's why we remember a lot of Spanish. Like I honestly, like you, you guys know y'all, y'all have like noticed, but like, we do speak Spanish pretty well. I mean. Oh, yeah. We've gotten that question a lot. Yeah. We do speak Spanish. Like Billy speaks Spanish, too, because Billy did a, a mission, actually, in Mexico when he was in college because his college was a Christian school. Um, That was just happenstance because he got a football scholarship there. But he did a mission down there. So he speaks Spanish fluently. Um, We all do, technically. Like the three of us and my little brother, he speaks Spanish, too, because he was in dual immersion when he was a kid. Um, But. I understand it better than I can speak it now. When I was younger, I could do both. But now, like when people talk to me in Spanish, I know what they're saying. I just I answer in English because I can't mm -hmm. really think that fast um, because it's not my native tongue, obviously. Um, but like when we when we've gone to Mexico, I've been in Mexico like quite a few times. Every time we go, we're able to like 
navigate pretty well by ourselves because we can speak Spanish. But um, yeah, our teacher was white as fuck. So I'm with you on that. They definitely shouldn't be doing that. You know, what's funny too. At my college, I took Samoan as a language course and it was actually a four credit course because it's a dying language. So it's, and it's an indigenous language. So it was like harder because it is. And, um, I took Sp I, Spanish. I took Samoan for a few years and, um, all the teachers were Samoan people, like from Samoa, like all of them. Um, but the head of our department was a white guy. <laughs> so it was an old white man. Granted, he was born and raised in like fucking Michigan, probably. Maybe it was his dad. I don't fucking know. Like he was from a white state, but like he was an old white man. And then he met a Samoan woman, fell in love with her, I think in California. And she wanted to move to Samoa. So he moved with her and then he lived there for like 25, 30 years. And then he moved to Hawaii um, with his family and then raised them in Hawaii. And then him and his wife would just go back and forth. It's a lot easier to go to Samoa from Hawaii than it is from California. And they would just go back and forth all the time. So he speaks all the dialects, writes in it, reads in it, and speaks it. So that's why I was kind of like, well, yeah, can't I can't really get that mad at you. Because he spoke better Samoan than me. That's for fucking sure. And he could speak chiefly Samoan, which is a, the hardest dialect to learn. And that's the one he's the best at. So that's why I was like, well, I hate that, but... <laughs> at least he's qualified to some extent yeah that's kind of how our spanish teacher their ends are neutral color furniture period that's my favorite bald dads amen and being confrontational amen i almost feel like you wrote that one <laughs> yeah. especially the neutral the yeah. last three oh, wait a me second. as fuck me as fuck okay this next one's from tate my dad. Just kidding. It's not my dad. Speaking of bald dads. He said, here are his ends. He put mixing drinks, solo dates, collaging, tote bags, gathering Great. evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's like tote bags, fun drinks, <laughs> gathering evidence against all the people you hate. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, it literally goes press on nails, concealer only base, <laughs> and bangs. <laughs> that was cute. I love that stuff. one. Concealer only base is the fucking move. Bitch. I need to get on that That's so the bad, move, bro. girl. That's my whole thing. Unless Adam glams me, obviously, but like my everyday makeup is just concealer. Um, because I'm such a natural girl. Just two little guys. Thoughts? I just like I just like hate makeup. <laughs> Don't you hate that shit? Okay. When I watch those Vogue get ready with me yeah. and they're like, I just use my fingers. I'm like, eat a dick. I'm just kidding. Here are their outs. They said being blunt. Yeah, that's that's real. Honestly, yeah. I've never liked that. No, because it, it's it's when the the people that say they're blunt are just rude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're rude. they're just mean. they have no tact. Like yeah, it's like no tact. Like there is a certain I think level of decorum we should all have as adults and contributing members to society. Like where we're not like just openly rude to people. Because we're honest. Like, yeah. I hate that shit. I, I don't, I think it's fucked up to do that. Uh, so out, being blunt, skinny jeans, agreed. Period. My forehead, that, it's because bangs are in. So that's why. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. Gotcha. I'm also thinking about getting bangs. I think about this at least every four months. She just gets bored and she's like, I want to give myself something. I want to, I want to fuck up my hair. And I'm like, okay. And then she doesn't. She goes, I never should have done that. <laughs> okay, next one. Overspending in the name of retail therapy. I mean, that's probably true. Control tactics and road rage. Yeah. I never, ever really get road rage because nothing's ever that serious to me in, in situations like that. But the times that I do, <laughs> I feel so embarrassed and I'm alone. You know, when you like, when you're like really mad at someone for doing some fucked up shit in a car and like they're driving ahead of you or in front of you or you lose them or whatever. <laughs> the way I talk shit in my car, like they can hear me. It's so embarrassing. And then, and then my music like is going to the next song and that silence. Like you going, are you fucking kidding? Yeah. And the <laughs> silence that the, the tangible ick that I feel about myself, yeah. I'm like, if anybody heard me say that I would die. Mm -hmm. It was so embarrassing. Nothing is ever that serious. That's what I was saying. It was <laughs> fucking bitch. And then I'm like, I'm so glad nobody heard me say that. <laughs> like that sobering silence, bro. Like I need that. Like I need And then it. you like, kind of look at yourself in the corner of your eye. Yeah, like, and then in I the look mirror. in the mirror and then I'm like, 
and I need chapstick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I have like I have like really <laughs> blunt thoughts about myself, and then I'm like, yeah, I want to cut me off too. Honestly, <laughs> maybe he saw me looking like this. He says, "Dude, fuck that bitch. Look yeah. she's driving. You're like, this fucking guy <laughs> just did this shit." And then I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> and then I'm looking at myself. I'm like, I need a tissue. Okay, this next one's from <laughs> this next one's from Jazz. She said, "Out being upset when something goes wrong, in <laughs> saying that's showbiz, baby, to switch to positive thinking and remind myself it's all part of my movie plot that I'm starring in." <laughs> I wish I could do that. Unfortunately, I will be freaking out when things don't go right. <laughs> that is my plan currently. I'll let you know I if it changes. I wish. I wish. I wish that I could be silly in moments where I am stressed about something not going right. But un un unfortunately for myself and everyone around me, I do freak out. <laughs> every time. Every single time. <laughs> Without fail, every single time. This next one's from Elena. She said, "These are there's quite a bit in here. Okay. In adult slumber parties with your girly pops. When's Period. the last time you had a sleepover with your friends? It's so fun. Yeah, we had one the night before Jason's birthday weekend, and it was really fun. Even my birthday weekend was a sleepover, and it that was, was so fun. And it was a fucking was blast. So next one is having slash using my library card. I still actively use my first one with my first grade signature. <laughs> That's cute. Making fun little sober drinks at home, hot chocolate, coffees, 2020 vibes. Okay, period. Low key margaritas at islands. If you know, you know. I've actually never had a mar. I have. At islands? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Dang. They're like, they blend them. And you know, they, I, they, they fucking freeze the cups. Yeah, they, they get it from the Russian prison in, that the Red Guardian was in. <laughs> I wish I had those <laughs> for my iced coffee. <laughs> for your ice? A fucking, yeah, for my fruit punch ice. Uh, crying big fat tears while mo watching movies in an AMC. I do that shit and I don't care. I literally told Drew. Well, no. The way I'm going to, the way I'm actively avoiding watching Iron Claw because I'm too afraid that I'm going to be open mouth crying when it's over. That's why I told Drew that like, <laughs> like I told her like, cause I was like crying and telling her what happened in the, the season finale of the Buccaneers. Yeah. And I was open mouth crying multiple <laughs> times that I literally kept covering my eyes and I was just sobbing. But I told her, it reminded me of when I saw Frozen 2. Cause I think you were still in school when I went yeah. and saw it. And I texted her, I said, hey, when you watch that movie, I, just, you know, I cried the whole time. Anything with sisters, I'm always like, oh, Same. That I was me with Quiz Lady. Yeah, I cried yeah. when I watched that. And then when I watched the Iron Claw, I literally had to hold my breath. I couldn't stop crying. Like, literally, like, open mouth, <laughs> yeah. silent, sob. I just know, like... And I don't know what's happened to me in the last like year or two, but I have completely let go and I get so emotional when I watch shit now. Yeah. Like where I, I, I sob mm -hmm. like, and I used to cry. Like I would cry like with tears on my face, but I like have to pause the movie because I'm crying too loud and I can't hear anything. I know. All I can hear is me sniffling. The last thing I, I cried, I like literally sobbed over was um literally Lilo and Stitch. I've seen the movie. I know what happens, but at the part where like she gets fired and then she's like going to have to give her sister away. Oh, I dude. know. And then Stitch looks so sad and he looks just like, like squid. squid. And I was thinking about squid because <laughs> my eyes are literally tearing up. The way that I literally had to pause the movie because I was so Sobbing. That's how I felt. Even past lives, like the whole movie, I was like, "Oh, that's sad. That's sad." Then the ending, I was going, <laughs> I was like, I'm, "I'm like, like me watching the bear." Every episode. what was it recently? I was crying over, and Billy literally thought he was gonna have. He's like, "Should I like call your sister?" Dude, one of the worst movies I ever watched that I could not stop crying. I had to get up and leave my family's living room and oh, go yeah. lay down in my room. <laughs> was the real live action movie <laughs> version of Dumbo. I literally had to go lay down in my room. I could oh, not that's stop what crying. It was. I saw Soul again. I watched it again. When I watched Soul, I had to hold my breath. Bro, when I watched Soul, like I it's I watched so it again like two, like a year and a half ago. I watched it. I was in like I was literally like I cried all my eyelashes off. I was fucking sobbing. I cried myself to sleep. Even fucking Blue Beetle. Like now when I go to watch, watch movies with my family, I don't give a fuck if I cry in the movie theater. When we're watching Blue Beetle, I'm crying. Dude, yeah, Dayson had like a nervous breakdown when she watched. <laughs> don't know the real the live action. Yeah, like <laughs> I had to go lay down in my room and be quiet for thirty minutes. I missed almost the whole movie by the time I got back in there. <laughs> I could not stop crying. It was ridiculous. You know how sometimes 
because uh, I just finished my period. But you know how sometimes when you're menstruating, you're like, I need to watch something and I need to cry. I need to cry yeah. good. Yeah. I that was why I watched Soul because I was like, I want to watch it again because I love that movie and I I saw it like a year ago and I want to watch it again. And now that I do this for a living and I watch that <laughs> tune, the way that I was literally like, <laughs> like I've never <laughs> seen it. Like I was like, like open mouth, like silent sobbing. Literally, Billy really was like, should I call your mom or your sister? <laughs> Like normally, like he'll just he'll, he'll he'll just console me and sit with me, but then like I it just like wasn't stopping. Yeah. He's like, should I? That was me watching it, and I was all, I'll be right back, guys. And I went <laughs> in the room. I had to go lay down, and then even after the iron claw, I went home and I cried more thinking about it. It was Dude. so good. Yeah, it's like something about it. it it's something. It's something has shifted inside me lately. Like I just like I let go now. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And I've always been pretty like uh open with my emotions and shit but there's something about movies like tv and movies mm-hmm. there was literally like a scene in um fucking one of the silly ass shows i constantly watch i think it was modern family because there's a lot of moments in there where they're pretty you emotional should, cry. yeah dude like i like the first time i watched it the first time i watched it all the way through which was like midway end of last year uh episode where cam and mitch are trying to get married and then they can't mm-hmm. and then like at the very end, like Jay takes him to the club and then he's like, I thought you and I would take a walk. Like when I watched that, I was like, <laughs> I literally was like, <laughs> like, and it's not even sad. It's like very happy. But mm-hmm. there's just something about like entertainment now where I just Dude, like, I know killers of the flower moon. I, cr- I cried every movie. Oh, I can't take it. That's probably honestly like a lot of you have, you know, told me this on your own, um, that it's part of my mental illness, why I don't like watching new things. <laughs> Um, which I know, thank, thank you though. Um, it's also, it's cause I can't predict the ending. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. So I don't like to watch, you know what I mean? Like my anxiety just, that's why I always look up the endings to movies. If they're stressing me out, I like look it up. Yeah. Cause I just like, I just want to be prepared, but that's. <laughs> Sorry. Is it mental illness or is it me being a Virgo? Who knows? I don't know. One in the same. <laughs> Okay, and then her outs are having to work two jobs to survive living in LA. And she put yeah. personal. <laughs> personal. Being Personally. single again, personal. You're right. Being single is out. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Take that. You're right. Get that shit out of here. That's not nearly as personal as you think. Uh, but also men, I hate that I love them. And then Period. she put seven plus hours of screen time on your phone. Feel that. Um, and that was it. That was a great list. That was a great list. Great list. Dude, Island Margaritas. I can't believe I've never had one. Yeah, I've only had one once. I didn't drink it myself, though. I, right. um, I've tried it. And it was good. Dang. Yeah. Okay, this is the last one we're going to do for this episode. We'll do a part two next week. Okay? Yes. Okay, this one's from Diana. She said, in sick little freaks, especially the Irish kind. I know that's right. Toast with melted butter. Period. Period. And those specific ass YouTube aesthetic videos. Are those the ones? And then it's like one hour of you by the 1975 playing in the other room while your roommate vomits Dude, in the bathroom at a shitty Did you? Yeah. Did That's you all, one of the funniest clips from The Bald yeah, and the, the Beautiful. Yeah, The Bald and the Beautiful. He's like, he's like, well, your grandparents are fighting in the next room. And he's telling her that. <laughs> <laughs> those the sound so of funny. rushing rain while you're crying in your room and your parents are fighting in the room next door. About finances because your mom never got a job because she had you at 18 and your dad hates his job. <laughs> I do love those videos. <laughs> okay. And then her outs are disrespectful ass in-laws. Okay. Period. Drew, I, thankfully. Drew I, doesn't know what that's like. What a thank, dream. What a dream. <laughs> thankfully. I have wonderful in-laws. I, thankfully. I don't know what that's like. I got real lucky. Another out is eating cereal that's too soggy. Period. And I like my cereal on the drier side. Yeah. I want it to be a little crunchy. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, I'm gonna buy life when I go to the store today. Dude. That sounds so good. Original life is the best cereal. I got I got mini wheats the other day because so I, I was feeling it and they fucking rock. <laughs> I eat them all the time. Okay, and then uh the last one is pissing in public toilets if I can help it. I don't Ping, mind. I'm not too worried about no, it's pooping. Like, pooping is an emergency. Like when I go to like the movie theaters, I don't expect people to be shitting in there. What are you doing? But if you are, it better be an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just pushing one out, I'm mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Grow up. Okay, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Yes. If you enjoyed it, you can listen to other episodes everywhere you can stream podcasts, and the video version is always on our YouTube channel. 
Last little announcement. Well, two announcements. Number one, we're going to do guest episodes this year. If you have guests in mind that you want us to have, you should comment them down chat, below. Chat. List them down below, chat. Comment them down below. I'll probably post it on Instagram, too, just to get a feel for uh, what guests you guys want to see on here with us. Ish. And then other thing, we promote it all the time, but our Patreon, we love it, and it's so much fun, and there's plenty of new bonus content on there that you have not seen before that you would love to see on Period. our Patreon. Period. Other than that, we love you, and have a great week. Bye. Bye.